Sometimes you just gotta get your sleeves right when you're making the ultimate sandwich. Hey, good morning. Uh, today I'm gonna talk about a side dish, but it's also a way to accentuate those leftovers. Big, bold, zippy flavors. Uh, today we're gonna be doing one of my favorites, a smoked Brussels sprout Bing cherry slaw. Let's get into the action. First things first, uh, I've got my grill at just under 325, maybe 325, and uh, we're gonna put a little smoke on some Brussels sprouts. So I wanna start thinking of smoke as a very powerful seasoning. Uh, when we're putting together an entire dish, if we add a little smoke to one thing, it's gonna accentuate the whole thing and people are gonna have that aha moment and say, what is that secret ingredient? It was that little bit of smoke, not the overabundance of it. But look at that beautiful, ready to accept smoke. So let's go ahead and open our grill. And I got a nice little flame. You can do this with the, the leftover heat of another cook. Sneak my wood chunk in the hottest part of the flame there and I'm gonna put these guys face down. I can already smell the hickory, which is beautiful. And we're gonna go lid down so that we can capture that smoke. Next, we've got to plump are dried Bing cherries. These are pitless, no pits here, uh, and they're just dry. So we're gonna put a little apple cider vinegar and kind of reconstitute these guys just a bit. And then to brighten the entire dish up, we're gonna put some fresh squeezed lemon juice in there. Now we're gonna blend these up here in a little bit. So this is gonna be kind of the base of the sauce. And you can see why I said zippy in the end, right? Next. I've put the shredding application on our uh, mixer here, Roboku or whatever, whatever you've got, food processor. I'm gonna put the lid on and we are going to shred the rest of our Brussels sprouts. So we've got a pound of Brussels sprouts in total. I'd say a quarter pound of that is on the grill smoking right now. Three quarters of the other pound are gonna be just shredded up raw, no smoke. And this was really fine. Look at look at that. It's a fine slaw. If you don't like your slaw to be that Lexington style slaw, you can flip that shredder over and use the cutter, which would be this side. Okay, um, but this is gonna this is how I like this slaw. So personal preference there. Now we're going to transfer all of this into the bowl and then set it back up so that we can shred the smoked Brussels sprouts. And again, I like to leave this little blade in here so it gets it nice and fine. And we're using that grated edge there instead of the, uh, instead of the blade. That's all we need. Just a little bit goes a long way. Again, smoke and that bit of sear is your secret weapon today. And look how our wood chunk is completely combusted. You can't see smoke and yet I can feel it stinging my eyes a little bit and I can smell it in the air. That is the epitome of clean smoke. So do not soak your wood chips or wood chunks. We really wanna have nice clean smoke. We're only using a little bit of it. We got one shot at it. So no soaking wood chips or wood chunks. Get a nice combustible flame. And these are gorgeous, all right? So we'll start it back up. Beautiful. And as soon as I did that, smoke filled the air, uh, or just the aroma of smoke, which is great. You don't want these fibrous pieces on top that really didn't get chopped up. And that is a crazy good smell. Uh, the char, the smoke, the Brussels sprout, everything's coming through right there. So now we've got our raw with our smoked mixed. It's been about, I don't know, almost 10 minutes. So I'd say our Bing cherries are plumped enough. Put our blade back in. Let's get our cherries with our lemon juice and uh, apple cider vinegar in there. Now we're gonna blend again. Beautiful. Now for the rest of our ingredients, okay? We're gonna go in with a little Duke's mayonnaise. I had a little spoon pulled out here. I always forget the, I always forget the freaking stuff when I need it. You know what I mean? I'm just freaking all over the place. You gonna go get a spoon? Yeah, I'm gonna get a spoon. Okay. 
you know you're at a chef's house when I go looking for a spoon. All I can find is a caviar spoon and a grapefruit spoon. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna use a, uh, a grapefruit spoon today, okay? So going in with some mayonnaise, and uh, if you're on the YouTube channel watching this, all these quantities are down below. If you're watching this on Instagram or Facebook, hop on over to that YouTube channel and get this full recipe. Mayonnaise, honey, local honey. It's gonna sweeten this thing up and, and kind of bind it. All right. Sugar. Dijon mustard, of course. So with everything we just put in there, there is a fine back and forth balance between tangy, sweet, uh, and zippy, if you will. We're gonna blitz this back up and I'm gonna emulsify with a little bit of oil while it's going to tighten this whole thing up together. So, all right, let's see how, oh, look at that. Look at that. It's just like a bean cherry dressing and that's exactly what it is. Dressing, oh my gosh. That's all right back here making you smile. You don't even know why, because it's hitting you in those zippy spots. That's gonna be the nickname of this video, Zippy. All right, it's important not to overdress your slaw. So we'll just start with, let's call that half a cup. And again, we've got other ideas for the rest of that. And then we're just gonna kinda paint that in. I can tell automatically that we're gonna need more. Another half a cup, so that's one full cup there. This is just a wonderful fall, winter, dish. I'm just going to put a touch more in there. Remember, we don't want to overdress it, but it's important that it does cover all of those Brussels sprouts. And that's us. We want it to look slightly wet. Kind of the pack of wet sand there. And that's us. Okay. Now again, you show up to this as is and it's going to be fantastic right it's a great side you don't need to top it on anything but if we wanted to make the ultimate leftover turkey sandwich um, this is a fantastic start so i'm going to open that grill back up just to toast some bread really quickly and while it's on there i've mixed up a little mayonnaise dijon mayonnaise and duke's mustard just wake this up just a little bit I'm gonna put my piece of Swiss on there. Make sure we're not getting, oh, look at that color. That's what we want. Just a touch of that slaw. And spread it out a little bit. Flip that sandwich top. That is a strong sandwich. All right, let's pull it off the grill. Slice down the middle. And that is your beautiful leftover turkey sandwich with smoked Brussels sprout bing cherry slaw. <laughs> Look at that bite. The number and leftovers. That is fantastic. Oh baby, that is that's something special. Um, you know, when we when we make these sandwiches or these slaws, the slaw is so powerful by itself. So it has to be a side or an accoutrement. You want to use a small amount. And that leads me to talk about grilling one aspect of an ingredient for a recipe as well. I see in the comments section sometimes when we do things like this, somebody says, oh, I'm not just going to fire up my grill to put a little bit of smoke on one thing. What a waste. You're missing the boat. All right. You get a little bit of smoke on one of those things, just a little bit of that Brussels sprout and bring it to it. It completely transforms the entire dish or in this case, the entire sandwich. And a sandwich is more than a sandwich, right? This is it's soul food right here, okay? If you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you, do me a favor, hit that like button, uh, hit the notifications, do subscribe and leave us a comment. Love to hear what your favorite uh, topping is for a leftover turkey sandwich from our backyard to yours, cheers and happy growing.